over there is Kowloon with the high high tower. The island over there on the other side of the water, that's Hong Kong Island. Nespresso, what else? What's up guys? Cycling Fanatics, back in Hong Kong. It's 2 o'clock local time, 8 o'clock Amsterdam. I just woke up, slipped right into my um, cycling kit, opened the window. At least it's not uh, raining, so that's good. I'm gonna take a metro, the MTR, to the other side. And then we're gonna ride to Tai Moi Shan. Supposed to be a very nice long climb, about 10 kilometers. Gonna get ready, we're gonna hit the road. Pokari Sweat, uh, the Chinese Gatorade. in the city it actually took quite a long time to get here but uh, it's time to put the bike back together change my shoes and then uh, I can go riding Okay, I made it from the subway station to the road that takes me up to Tai Mo Shan. It's going straight up. There's no warm up. The climb starts right there at the station. I'm trying to not go too fast in the beginning. The weather's still okay. I feel slight little drops coming down, but I hope it's not really gonna rain. 20 minutes in the climb. It's pretty steep. It's about 10%. Warm and humid, as always. Nice road. Headed up to the top of the hill. It got a little bit steeper and I picked up the pace. A very narrow little road. I can't talk. Ni hao. This is way more than 10%. I think 15. There was uh, some sort of checkpoint up there that you uh, cannot pass if you don't have good brakes. I just sacrificed my segment time on Strava for this view. Over there is Kowloon with the high high tower. The island over there on the other side of the water that's Hong Kong Island. That's where the hotel is. The peak somewhere up there. That's where I was yesterday. Well I did not expect to see these cows over there. Looks like I'm at the ending point, at the uh, radio station. Now I'm gonna descend, pretty hard climb. Hey! 
cyclist. Okay. Nice. Okay. Local guy. He looks pretty fresh coming up this hill. I can tell you it was a very heavy climb. <laughs> He's riding a Canyon Ultimate. I just told him it's a nice bike. What's your name? Brian. Brian? Jasper, nice to meet you. Yeah, Benjamin. Benjamin? Okay. Nice to meet you guys. Swapping Instagram accounts with these guys. You guys live in Hong Kong, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where? Um, in Is that the uh, down of this hill? Yeah. Oh, okay. There. Cool. So, so far. Yeah? Yeah. I took, uh, I was on Hong Kong Island, so I took the metro here. Oh. Takes cool. a long time. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Going down. Picture. Thanks. He took a picture. Thank you. Oh no. It's starting to rain oh. and that's not a good thing. I hope it's not gonna get slippery. Descended down that uh, mountain. It started raining, so it got really, really cold, but now it's okay. And now I'm following my route again on my Garmin. It's taking me through, uh, through the jungle. Some kind of park. And uh, the road surface is pretty good. Some kind of concrete cycle path. Ooh, very steep. What up 20%? Riding for an hour and 15 minutes, 18 kilometers, so the speed is not very high. Hello. Uh, two hands on the bars. One moment you're in the middle of a crazy, hectic, busy city. The other moment you're riding around in a jungle. Okay, there's a couple uh, electricity poles, but for the rest, looks like jungle to me. These roads are pretty tricky. <laughs> They're all up and down, very steep with very sharp turns. Right now the surface is pretty good, but uh, most of the time it's pretty bumpy. There's a lot of leaves, so <laughs> it's a bit dangerous going fast on the downhills. It's something else. I've never been on a trail like this with my road bike and it's pretty cool. I'm either in my lightest gear going uphill or braking hard on the downhills because it's so steep and with very sharp turns. So the average speed is very low. What is this? Funky.
trail is taking me along this uh, sort of a lake. Well, it's pretty obvious that the lake is uh, man-made because there's a giant dam over here. I'm gonna ride over the dam. Finally back on the main road, back into the city. I can pick up the pace again. My ride today took a little longer than I thought because of the, the narrow roads. The speed was very low. I'm gonna go to Kai Ling Station and then go back to Hong Kong Island to return the bike. I put in a good effort on my way up to Ta Shan. Training is done. Tomorrow I fly back home, so I have to get up in the morning. You can say a lot, but they know how to build a bridge in Hong Kong. Back in the skyscraper mayhem of Hong Kong. The route on Srava that I built ends here, but I want to go a little bit further, so now I have to find out how I get there. The roads here are pretty complicated. There's so many flyovers and uh, it's, uh, it's a bit hard to navigate, especially on the bike. I'll try to stay on the water. And I think I'll can, I can get up to the station. I just have to go uh, south a little bit. In the meanwhile, checking out the view. I need to get to the Kai Ling station. I know it's somewhere here, but do you know uh, on the bike how I can, how I can get there? Uh, Kai, Kai Ling? Station, MTR. MTR. Uh, keep keep go. Uh, let's uh, let's go. Uh, let's take go back. Then you wait wait up. Okay. Then you now hello to to MTR. Okay. Thank you. Okay. completely lost again this is a pain in the ass to get somewhere when you're outside of the city it's okay but in the city absolutely crazy i think i'm on liking road the mtr station is uh, on this road so i'm almost there but it took some effort straight through the crazy traffic found it And I just got in time for the uh, Kyron final of the men. At least I get to see one race today. Jeffrey, what's up, man? <laughs> oh, 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 oh.